G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. I'm gonna pour my little heart out in these gorgeous wavy silicon molds today. Uh, now, you may remember I did these ones a little while back. Um, and silly me, <laughs> forgot that when I turned these out, I wasn't going to have a white, like you couldn't see the white because I was pulling them out. So I spray painted the back silver. Do you remember that? So going along those lines again with the same mold. But first of all, I thought I might just dust the inside with some white powder and, um, and then pour the resin on. Now I've just been doing another project over there with my mold making and I needed some resin. So I'm hoping that what I've got left is still gonna be all right. So I'm gonna get a riddle on. Because I thought, oh, I'm making up resin for that. I'll, I'll make up enough for this as well. But then I, it took me longer than I expected. So I don't know. So I'm just going to dust these with white. I basically only need to do the top, really, because that's what you're going to see. I'm just going to give it a quick dusting. And then I'm going to take it over there in front of the, or over the bin and just kind of tip it upside down, upside down and get the excess dust out. I'm hoping that this will give me that you know kind of sandy look. Looks like you know when the water runs over the sand at the beach you get that rippledy look. That's what I I think these look like. That uh, they're just just um, amazing. I love them. These little molds. They're quite big. They're 13 centimeters across. So it's a, it's a nice size though, like you could just display them, you know, you don't have to use them as coasters, you can display them on a, a plate stand. So you could do whatever you like with them really. They're quite deep. I thought with these ones, because I've, you know that clock mould that I've got, my big clock mould, um, I want to do like an ocean theme with my clock mould. So I thought I'll practice with this one. I want to try and do waves. I've never done waves. I have no idea how to do waves, but just got to get in and try it. Hey, so I thought I'd give this a go with some waves today. Um, I've got some gravel here, you can see. Um, I may put a little starfish in each one. Um, and then, yeah, have a bit of a practice with some waves. So that's the plan today. All right, so that's dusted. I just used the um, Lorez white satin there because it's the only white that I've got. Now I'm just going to go and tip this excess dust over the, the bin there. Otherwise it tends to, um, I just give it a bit of a blow, otherwise it tends to float up and it can spoil your effect. So now if you have a look at these, there's a deeper section on this side and it's not, well, I guess it is. It's just more sort of wavy there, and I thought this might be nicer for the stones. So I'm just going to put a few little pebbles in there. And as I said, it's quite a deep little mold, so you can put things in there nicely. This is just what I had lying around, so I thought I'll I'll use it. But um, you can you can use sand maybe you've gone down to the beach and you've got some sand or some river sand this is just um aquarium gravel this one and i don't want to fill it up higher than the top of the mold obviously but so there we go just push it down a little bit it kind of looks like the stones have been caught in those little ripples down at the beach so that's that i kept the bigger one out and then um, I just want to pour some clear over that. And then I've got some, this is Teal Quila. It's from Pixie Dust Pigments. And then this one is this little piggy. I haven't tried this little piggy in resin before, so hopefully it'll be all right. It's called Sapphire. I guess it's for resin. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> Um, I, I want to keep them quite transparent. I don't want to make them very opaque. I want to be able to see down the bottom there. So this is my resin that I've got left over. And then a couple of sticks. And it's my resin that I've, I've got here. So, ooh, oh, that fit. Yeah. Let's just put a little bit in. 
So this is going to be my shallow water. And like I said, I don't want to make it too opaque. I want to keep it a little on the transparent side so we can see the, the sandy ripples underneath. Hey, So what I'm going to do is I haven't made up enough resin to fill these because I want this to set. This is just my cheap resin, my platinum resin. Um, and then when it sets in about four hours or so, then I'm going to come back on with the Delcom, which is a thicker resin. And I'm going to try and make, try and make some waves. I won't put too much of this one in because we'll see how it goes first. You can always add a little bit more. Love this navy blue. Love it. I've got a couple of brands of navy. They're so pretty. They all look very similar to me. Like, do they all come from the same pigment factory and then people just put their own labels on them? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. It's like going to the supermarket and getting your milk. Like, it all comes from the same place, doesn't it? it all comes from the cows. Just to have a different label stamped on it. All right, here's my clear. It's getting warm, but hopefully it should be still okay. Look at these. Aren't these gorgeous? Little starfish, little dried starfish. I don't know if they're real or not or whether they pretend. I, I don't know. But I got these and some little shells and things. I can't do it with gloves on. For my clock. I'm just waiting for something else to arrive that I've ordered online at eBay. And then I can do my, my clock. Which is the top? Which is the bottom? I think that's the top. I like the other side, but that's, I think, like little feelers and things on that side. So, um, actually, I should probably use the smallest one. There we go. That's more like that one. You can go back. You can wait for my clock. All right, put you aside. Now, just need to make sure we're going to be covered here. Should be. I'm just going to kind of... Pop it in there somewhere. Like so. The um, aquarium gravel, this one, it kind, it kind of looks a bit shiny. Like it's not rough. So it's like it's been coated in something, which is probably a good idea that it's not going to like be dirty. So there we go. <laughs> All right, so first thing I'm going to do is just pour my clear over here. Make sure I've got enough to go around. Like I said, I ended up using a bit more resin for my project than I was anticipating. And then I thought, oh, I hope I've still got enough. But I only need to fill these halfway because, you know, my second layer will be the, the Delcom and the... The waves. Mm, a little bit more. I won't use it all just in case I need to come back and top up. So I'll just put that aside for a minute. And now this one it's probably a little bit, oh, I don't know, I was going to say it's a little bit more opaque than I was planning, but we'll see. See what happens. I just want to put a little bit of that in. I might blend it with some clear. Put that through there. And same here. I'll put a little bit more up there because I'm going to blend it with the dark, with the navy. It does look a little bit on the dark side, doesn't it? I've gone to the dark side. All right, here we go. Here's the dark, the navy. It's such a little amount, you see, of resin, and I've, I'm so used to putting a lot in. A lot of pigment powder, that is. And I probably put a little bit too much in. I wonder if I can... If I can um, add a little bit, I'll put a little bit of clear in there maybe. Kind of thin that out a bit. 
I'm gonna put a bit of clear here. I think because I want to blend those to the clear with the turquoise. Put a little bit of that in. Just in there to blend those two. I'm going to do it slowly. And then just put a little bit of that one over the turquoise just to blend that. That way you haven't got like dark, medium and light. You know, I'll try and blend the two if possible. I'm using up all my clear here. So uh, the light, I don't mind it sort of coming over the pebbles a little bit. I don't mind it doing that. I'm just going to use up all this clear. I do feel as if I've <laughs> added a little bit too much pigment, but never mind. Initially, I was just going to use um, tints, but then I thought oh, I'd like the shine that I get from the, the pigment powders. All right, let's put a little bit more through here. And as I fill it up, the turquoise will sort of go across the clear there a little bit. Put a little bit more of the dark in. Kind of blend it a bit. All right, I might give that a torch while it's settling a little bit. Hope you haven't run out already. No, you're good. So my new little torch is so cute. It's got Ned Kelly on it. My husband picked it up for me at one of the service stations on his long drive home from the mines the other day. I said, oh, please get me another couple. I love it. So hopefully he'll still be able to get me some. All righty. Um, now, all I've got left is, I haven't got any clear left. So I'll put a little bit more of this one through there. just need to fill the mould a bit more. Put a little bit over that dark blue there, just to kind of blend those two together. Just had enough by the looks of it, hey? I have still got a little bit of the, the navy left if I need it, but I don't want to overfill these now because I still need some room. Still need some room for my um, top layer, so I'm just going to be careful. And I'm just going to go around and make sure that this resin is pushed up to the, the sides here. Give that a bit of a, a blending there. And you push you up to the sides. A bit of a blending. They're not going to blend too much. <laughs> the resin's starting to thicken, so it's probably a good thing. Because it's starting to thicken. Alrighty. That's looking good. I don't want to touch the top of the mould too much because, you know, I've got that white pigment powder there and I don't want it to all sort of come loose and float to the top. All right, so that's me done there. I've got a little bit of the navy left, but oh, maybe this one needs just a touch more. Like so. All right, last little torch, and then that will be me done. And then I'll have to come back in four hours or so. Can you see the... I don't know if you can see the little little dots that are coming to the surface when I'm torching. That's the pigment powder. It's kind of coming to the surface. See that? When I torched, it kind of came up to the surface and then sort of popped. But because I'm going to attempt waves, 
and I say attempt because I am going to attempt them. I don't know how to do waves. I'm just going to have a try. So when I blow the waves over, it's going to be really hard on a little piece, but it'll kind of cover some of that. But I probably only do like maybe just one across here and then a little bit through there, just two. It's going to be really tricky to do, I think. I'll go and watch some videos, some wave making videos <laughs> while this is waiting, while it's setting up. It's going to come back and pop some bubbles. So at the moment you can see some of the pebbles sticking up through the surface. That That's okay because that'll get covered on this next layer. I didn't want to put too much on because then I've got nothing left for my next layer. So just got to be careful if you're doing waves. See, most people do waves on boards. I haven't actually seen people do waves in a coaster mold. So something different, I guess. We'll see how it works. All right, that's enough torching. All right, I'm going to clean up my mess. Shall I come down and have a little look at the, the close-up look? Shall we go down? Have a little look. Seems you're a long way up there, aren't you? Let's come around and have a little, little look. There's the little starfish. Oh, there's a bubble. Here's a couple of bubbles. I guess they get trapped. See, that one I can't get. I'm going to have to get a little toothpick and get that one because he's... Where are, you? Where are you? I can't see what I'm doing through here. The camera doesn't know what to focus on. So I have to push him up to the surface. Wait till he comes to the surface and then hopefully I can pop him. Oh, he might pop himself. So yeah, because I've put the pebbles in. So there's another couple. There's a bubble down there as well. They get caught underneath the the stones there's another one look i don't think it's going to matter i mean it's you know it's the ocean it's going to have bubbles and then once i've um once i've poured over the top there's another one i'll get a few i mean i'll get a few out but i'm not going to be too precious about it so there we go that's them i guess i kind of probably like Oh, it still looks... See, my camera doesn't pick up the turquoise. Everything just looks blue. That one looks more turquoise. And I did it a little bit more transparent, I think. Anyway, we'll see what they look like. First layer, Dunskies. Right, I'll see you in about four hours. Right, so it's been a few hours. Resin is... It's hard enough to touch. So, I've made up my Delcom Crystal Clear. It's a one-to-one -one resin, as in equal parts. Mm, pretty much all my other resins are two-to-one. More of a casting resin. As far as I know, and I don't know that much really, because I'm new, still new to resin, the one-to-ones tend to be more of a top coat, more of a thicker resin. The two-to-ones tend to be thinner, more of a casting resin. Um, you can pour deeper and because they're thinner the bubbles come up a lot easier. That's my way of thinking anyway. Now I've seen people use the heat guns. So they put down their white and then they use this nozzle, something like this, which is a, a narrow one to blow. But because it's such a tiny piece, I'm just going to use this little round one, okay? So I'm putting him out of the way. And I think I'll turn this around if I can because I'm right-handed. I'm going to want to blow this way, not that way. Hopefully I can turn this around without ruining it. Round you go. There. Oh, no, it's still not going to work because I'm going to go, hang on, I'm going to have to go this way. There. Because I want to blow up like that. Okay, we're still in frame. All right, so I've got my little cup. That's going to be for my white. Let me make sure that we're still in frame now that I've moved all that. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, oh, I'm nervous. I don't want to ruin my pretty picture that I got going there. Right, so um, I need to pop some bubbles. Now, I don't know if this guy is going to be strong enough because you've got to blow your white got to heat it up and blow it and then you come in and you break it up with your heat gun. I might actually put that on 
See, I've got a control there. I can go high or low. I'll just leave it in the middle for now. I, I don't know. I, I've got two to try, hey. Two to play with. So, let's do some white. I guess I'm not going to need a lot because I'm only doing two waves now. I think. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, will I do it all? Because I've seen people, they put down the clear on the whole thing and then they put down the white and then they just blow the white across the clear and then they come in once that's dried put down another bit of clear and another bit of white and blow that I don't know if I've got enough room look I'll try it I'll try it let's just try for two waves first of all so I've got a little bit in there maybe mm. a bit more no I don't need a lot I need two little waves <laughs> all right let's do the cast and craft I'm using the cast and craft. I've got that many different whites. I've probably got probably got an ounce in there, 30 grams maybe. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go with five to start with. I'm gonna put some alcohol ink in there as well because I think that helps with the kind of foamy lacing look. This is the pinata blanco blanco or white. And, oh, are you blocked? Let me get my pin. Should maybe a toothpick will work? No, it's blocked. I'll get a pin. I guess they just block sometimes if you don't use them a lot. Actually, let's not do that. I might stab myself. I've got this thing here that comes with the alcohol inks. So I don't want to stab myself on, ugh, on national YouTube. What's going on? Oh, it's just all the little dry bits are breaking off. Oh, goodness me. All right. Oh, is that going to work? One, two, three. All right. I guess it dries up if you don't use it. Everything dries up if you don't use it, doesn't it? Oh, my gosh. All right, move that out of the way. All these little bits broke off from around the top of the ink bottle. All right, now I need to stir that. Um, need a little tiny stirrer. I'm not very organized, am I? I'm doing all kinds of things today. All right, now I want it really opaque, so I may have to add a little bit more white. We shall see, but I think five drops of pigment paste. Should be fine. There's lots of different white pigment pastes, all kinds of brands. I'm assuming they're all basically the same. That looks nice and opaque. I don't think I should add any more. All right, here we go. That can go there, that can go there. Right, oh my gosh. I'm nervous. I want to ruin it. Make some room. Okay, um. Now, do I do the clear first or the white first? I think I'll do, let's put some clear down. Let's put some clear down. And just kind of spread it. If, if I end up having, like if it's too full, I may just have to do both layers now. Because I might not have enough actual room in my coaster to do two layers. Do you know what I mean? Might be too full. So I just need to spread that. When I come back and do my other layer, I'll fill in over here over the stones with clear because you can see the stones popping through. So that's pretty full there. I don't think I'm going to be able to do another layer looks as if I might have to do both my waves now pretty much all the way up to the top that one's fuller on that side maybe my board isn't quite level because resin will certainly tell you if it's level or not so I'm going to do this one and then I'll move on to that one hey I should probably do that one first and I'm not leaning over wet resin 
I leant over wet silicone the other day, right before work, and got it all over my work uniform. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Okay, so that's that. Now, I'm going to pour a little bit of this just over the top of that clear that I did. And again, I'm not quite sure how much to use. All right, here we go. I'm going to start heating it. I've only got, uh, I've got low and high. Let's just do low because I just want to heat it first. Here I go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Is that it? Am I doing it? I'm going to turn that off. Now I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun and see if I can <clears throat> break some of those up. I ended up setting it on too high. I mean, it's only a tiny little thing anyway. It's probably not going to be real hot. I don't want to burn my mould. Like it's not amazing, amazing, but hey, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, look at that! I've got some, I've got some waves. I don't know. Maybe that was too much white. Maybe it wasn't enough white. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. At least I've got some waves, and um, I think one will be plenty. <laughs> now a little bit more. Follow that. Fill this up. <clears throat> I may have enough room to come in with another one. Just the second, if you do another one, it just gives it a little bit more, um, more depth looking, I guess, more 3D because you can put another layer through here on an angle. I might put a little bit more of the white just across the bottom. Might have needed a bit more white because when I've seen other people, they have quite a thick layer of white across the bottom. And my white's kind of broken up. But hey, look, it's my first time. And those of you that do waves all the time, you're probably laughing at me, but we've all got to start somewhere, don't we? And I'm happy to share my trials and <laughs> tribulations or failures with you. If you want to watch, we can learn together. Or if you've got any tips for me, that would be amazing. Leave them in the comments below. Love to hear them. You can see what I'm doing wrong. All right, so that's that there. Let's put the white down again. I might do it a little bit thicker this time. I wonder if you need to kind of wait until your resin's had a chance to thicken up. This is a thicker layer. I'm just going to put a little bit of a, a little bit more just here. Just to make that a bit thicker there. Just because I like that look of the the very white and then the lighter. Alright, here we go. Now that's a lot, isn't it? Just heat it from above first, I think. And I think I'll try and leave some of the bottom there. I'm going to go straight down this time rather than across the top. Leave some of that thick bottom bit there. Whoops, I'm getting a bit close. So this is more straight from straight up here. I'm going to turn that off and then I'm going to whack it with this, with the heat gun, see if I can break it up a little bit and get some cells to appear. without burning anything. Now this one, it's going to just very gently just kind of blur those where I've added that extra line in. Alrighty. How's that looking? Oh, I think I prefer this one. I'm 
quite happy with it for my first attempt. I know it's, I haven't got like amazing lacing or anything, but there's a little bit of, I think there's a little bit of stuff happening. Okay, I'm probably going to burn it now. <laughs> it's going yellow. Although there's some lacing happening there. Mm, no, just leave it. Just leave it. I think I'm just going to burn it. All right. <clears throat> now, because I'm not going in with another layer, I'm going to use my clear just to pour over this, this stones here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to come in with a, another layer. Or is that going to upset my white? Mm, I don't know. I just want to cover my stones. I don't know if that's a problem or not. It's probably going to go across my white, is it? Yes. Look. No, don't do that. I guess that's why people don't do that. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay. This is why people don't do this. They do it in a few different coats, hey. But unless you try, you don't know, do you? I might try and blow the, the white across the beach area there a little bit. What do you think? That one's not going to go anywhere because it hasn't got white, a clear resin on it, you silly woman. I guess I might have to come back and do a another layer because look the clear's going into the white there hmm okay lesson learned I just didn't want to have to make up a tiny little bit of resin just to pop in there but I guess I'm going to have to I'm gonna to have to do that Oh, now I'm ruining it. Because now I've lost my dark bit of white under there. Which I wanted. Didn't I? Oh, well, you see, I'm having a play. I'm having a practice. Don't hate me. <laughs> having a practice. Alright. Now I need to just spread that just a tiny bit. that um <laughs> yeah I don't know that that's very good you guys uh it was probably better before I added the white all the white to it it kind of started to to break up into froth and then it just went nah I don't, I'm not doing this oh my gosh I don't know I don't really it started looking okay but now all you can see is white it's um it's a bit much it's a bit much it's a bit much let's take it off I know I know but you know it's it doesn't look very nice look at this you can't even see the blue under there anymore it's just all it's just all white if I can get some of this off, hey. I can try again. It's all right. Don't stress. I don't mind. You know, if something doesn't work, I'm I'm happy to try again. Don't feel bad for me. <laughs> Just gonna get another baby wipe. Just have to wait for this layer to dry again, and so that I can. Whoa! So I can do another layer. Wipe that off. And get another baby wipe. Maybe the um maybe this is just not the right resin to use. Or maybe it's the wrong paste. Mm, I don't know. I just gotta be careful here because it's still obviously it's still tacky underneath. Gotta be careful. Actually, you know what? I might use the rest of some of my clear 
um, to go over my stones a little bit. Actually, no, that probably won't work because it's just going to push itself. It'll just push itself over the blue. I'm just trying to get some of that white off. There we go. Never mind. It was looking okay and then it just looked icky. Just lost all my... Maybe... Oh, I've always, uh, maybe I've put way too much white on, you know. It's only a tiny little thing. Maybe like a, need a tiny little bit of white, hey? Maybe that's where I went wrong. Let me chuck this out. <clears throat> maybe that's where I went wrong. All right, um, I'm going to leave it. I'm all sticky now. I'm going to leave it to set up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to come back and I'll, I'm going to try again. Okay? Try, try again. All right. So all we can do is try, try again. At least I've saved it. At least I've wiped it off and I can try again. Hey guys, I'm back. I decided not to wait until this had set up again. Um, I'm going to try something else. Um, I've mixed up the Delcom again, the same as I did before. I am going to let it sit for a little while. I'm thinking half an hour, but... I just have to come and check it sort of every 10 minutes. Um, it's very, very watery at the moment. But I'm going to see if, if that'll help. Like, wait till it's thicker and then do it. Don't know. We'll just try it. So I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm going to put some white, well, not white, some clear in there for my white. Now, you can just sit there. Um, hopefully, it won't get too hot. Mm, that's the only thing it might get too hot. So cast and craft. Let's go again. Same as before. One, two, three, four, five drops. I have no idea if that's right, but five drops. And let's do three. One, two, three. When I'm doing the bloom, I do half the amount. In, um, in alcohol, but you can't really do two and a half drops, so we'll go three. So stir that up, and then um, I'm just going to go and I'll go and have a coffee. Go and have a sit down for a bit. I'll come and check the resin every 10 minutes because you know I don't want it to go hot and dry hard really quickly, but I just want it to thicken. I may actually put it into a another container one that's shallower so it can actually you know spread out that way it won't get too hot because when it's in a very like a, if it's too deep I find that's when it starts going off really quickly whereas if you tip it into something that's a bit more shallow it tends to behave a bit better uh, what have I got no oh, no that's not very clean I think it's had silicone in it Mm, let's have a look. Oh, here we go. There's this my resin one. There's my resin one. Oh, actually, no. I can't use that one either. Because look, bits will break off. No, I'm going to have to get another one. Okay, back to the first one. Here we go. I'm just going to pour it in here. You sit there, you sit there. I'm just going to pour that in there. So now, instead of it being quite deep, it's more on the shallow side and hopefully it won't go off so quickly. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but there's no point doing the same thing as I did before and expecting a different result. It's just not going to happen. I have to change something. So I'm going to change the consistency. So I'm going to come back and check it. Actually, I think I'll give it 15 minutes. Well, it's already been five minutes. Oh, anyway, I'll come back and I'll check it. <laughs> oh gosh, I will, I will win. I will do this. If it kills me, I will make a wave. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Righto. I came and checked it at 20 minutes, and it was still quite runny so I went and made another mold and now it's 
pretty thick. Look at that. It's kind of like toffee, so I hope I haven't left it too long. All right, here we go. Put some on. Should I put, put half on you and half on you? And hopefully I haven't left it too long. I was making moulds. Knowing my luck, I've left it too long. All right, let me see if I can spread this a little bit. So, um, let's see. I'll have that kind of a curve there. See, when I start heating it with the the heat gun here, it's going to soften it. It's going to go back to quite thin, I guess. I don't think I have to worry too much about getting it precise because it is, like I said, it's going to get thinner anyway. So let's just find my little curve there where I want it to be. I hope this works, you guys. I'll be disappointed if it doesn't work, but look, you know, I have to try these things. Hey, you can't just, well, I don't think you can just say, okay, I'm going to make waves and go and make waves. I think it takes practice and you've got to learn and I don't think it's as easy as just saying, okay, I'm going to go and make waves. <laughs> It'd be nice if it was, but I don't think it is. I think there's more to it than that. I'm just going to put a little bit more on here, go to the edges. Still letting me work it, so that's good. I think the back one, well, the back one to me had a little bit more resin in it. So I'll still have to sort of come back and fill in the, the sand, I guess. Because that's not going to, actually it's probably not going to pour. I think I'll just do this. How's that looking? And hopefully that will work. And can't really see where my edge is, but I think it's about here. I think it's about there. See how it's kind of going sticky already? So hopefully I haven't left it too long. All right, I'm not going to put any more on. Let's just let's just do this. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Heat it. I'm going to try and keep some of the white, the thick white part, if I can. Alright, move on to the next one. doesn't want to move I think it got stuck on this on the um on the gravel let's put a bit more there and same here a little bit more just there all right so I'm going to try and leave the the base of the white yeah, it's not really there we go going to push it up as much there we go all right all right that's that's looking okay it's a little all right I'm not going to do too much to it now let's see if I can get some it's starting to go yellow so I think I'm burning it I'm going to turn that down see when I've seen other people do this they, they do this and the lacing just appears because it's been heated. Unless I don't have enough heat. Maybe a bit more heat but not so close. What do you think? 
I really don't know. I should probably just leave it before I burn it. But look, it's better than the first one. It really is. It's better than the first one. I'm just going to break up that line of white ever so slightly there. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know what this does. I, I don't want to burn it and go yellow. That's the only thing. But I've seen other people do it. And the, the lacing just appears. So I don't know. Look, I'm happy with that, you guys. I am. Look, I know it's not perfect. But um, I'm, I'm happy with it. I really am. I think I probably need to put a little bit more. Actually, I'm not going to put any more resin on. I might just heat the resin that I've got here and get it to go to the edges. Be careful to burn my mould. Look, I'm popping bubbles at the same time. So this is really quite sticky now. Look, doesn't want to doesn't want to play anymore. So I, I will have to come back. Oh, what was that? What did I what did I do? What did I do? Oh my gosh, I don't know what what was that from? That. What's that? I don't know what that is. It can just stay there. <laughs> it can stay. I don't know what it is. It must have something to do with the heat, maybe. Oh, it was probably a bubble. Maybe it was a bubble that popped. Might have been. I wonder if this will give me any cells because it's not as quite as hot as the torch no no it's it's setting up it's setting up i don't know i don't like that what is that i don't like that big hole There. <laughs> it's gone. All right. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Look, I'm, I'm happy with that, you guys. I, I haven't got lacing. I mean, there's a, there's a tiny bit trying to happen, but what I'm happy about is I can still see the beach. I can still see the <clears throat> pale, like the light, um, the shallow water, and I can still see the dark water, <laughs> the deep water. So, oh, look, you can't complain with that, hey, for a first attempt can't complain you know it would have been nice to have some lacing but kind of got a bit of bit of frothiness happening and it does look like waves and it kind of goes into the, the darker there and I'm glad I didn't take it all the way up I probably only need one wave on such a small piece so I've got some frothy stuff happening down there look it's my froth A bit of yellow there where I've over torched. Mm, I don't know if I can get that out or not. It kind of does look wave like, doesn't it? And there's some tiny, like, little effects happening in there, you know, that it's trying to work. I'm so close. I'll keep trying. I won't give up. But anyway, hopefully, this video has helped you. Um, for me, I certainly think it was better waiting that half an hour actually it was 35 minutes by the time I got back here um, it did it did seem to help that's for sure starfish is getting a bit covered over there <laughs> all right um, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll demold them hey um, I will put a little bit of clear just in here just to fill it up um, I'll probably do that tonight just before I go to bed um, and then I'll demold in the morning because you don't need to watch me put on clear all right oh my gosh I'm so relieved that it actually looks like it actually looks like waves and foam I wonder if I can get rid of that yellow line oh, I don't know all right I'll leave it at that I've got to get ready to go out thanks for watching I'll see you all soon for the unmolding tomorrow hey guys I'm back it's the next day they're dry all right um 
Now, I was going to show you, I'll wait till it's out because I want to show you the top of that versus the top of this one. So you can see the amine blush. I can't at the moment see any amine blush or bloom from my new resin that's arrived. So yay! It's the Platinum Ultra Clear Food Grade. <clears throat> but anyway, I'll get them out and then I'll show you the difference. So I ended up putting a clear coat over the whole lot to fill in these bits here, but I didn't bother showing you because, I mean, it's it's basically easy just to do a clear coat. Hey, you know what I'm doing. You don't need to watch. Woohoo, look at that. It's white from my... Um, that white pigment powder that I put on. Because the first time I did this, I, I, you know, I peeled it out and I expected the white still to be there <laughs> and it, because it was a white mould. And um, of course it didn't. That's why I ended up having to spray paint the back. But this time the white has stayed. It looks like a little ripple there. Now I've got a little tiny bit of overflow there, which I don't know if you can see it. Can you see there? Just a little bit. You just take your little nail file. Ever so slightly, a little bit of overflow. It's not a lot. I think with these, I'll just paint the edges in silver. I just, I just like the edges being a different colour. Is that a bit of overflow? Tiny bit there. Okay, I just use my big nail file or emery board. Don't press too hard because you don't want to make a dent and lose your circular shape. So anyway, there we go looks really pretty let's get the dust off now that I've give it a bit of a wipe there you go what do you think so the back is just the ripple oh look at the stones they look so cute and you can see where I've dusted the, the mold with the white so there it is now, I was chatting to a, a couple of ladies last night just on, on the Facebook groups about how to do better waves, and they gave me some lovely information, very helpful. So I'll, I'll do that, and then when I do my next video, I'll, um, I'll give you all their details because I haven't written it down. I just, just thought I'd tell you about it real quick. But, yeah, very helpful, um, and they suggested some products I can use in Australia. <clears throat> so I'll do that. Let's get the next one out it's not like it's a big reveal because you don't have to see the back you can already see you know what they're looking like now these molds as I said are available in my eBay store the link is in the description below let's give that a quick little sand as well and then I'm going to show you the top of this versus the top of the other one yeah, I'll sand it properly later and just give it a still very light one just so you can see how easy it is and there's the back again so now let's see if we can look across the top hopefully we can look across the top and it's nice and shiny and glossy no, um, pick it up in the light there as well. It's, it's a reflection from outside, but you can see that there's nothing in the center. All right, then have a look at one of these ones. Which ones? They're both pretty bad. <laughs> They're both pretty bad. All right. Looks nice on the top, doesn't it? But as soon as you start tilting it, there you go. See that? It kind of spoils it. Excuse the light, but you can see the amine bloom there or, or blush. Some resins are more prone to it than others. Um, I personally don't think it's just about humidity. I think it's, it's the ingredients in the resin. Some do it, some don't do it. There it is as well on the second one. And you can kind of feel it. It's rough. So, yeah, which one did I show you before? They both don't have it. They're both beautiful and shiny. 
so yeah really happy with the um, platinum ultra clear food grade resin it's it is a little bit more expensive than the regular platinum ultra clear which this was um, but you know you can see the difference you know if you want that one or if you want this one <laughs> You can see the difference. It's well worth the extra few dollars, I think, um, to get the better resin. And um, you don't have to do an extra top coat. So, you know, if you had to, if you had the Amin blush and then you, you're covering it up, so you have to do another um, coat or you have to sand it down and do another coat, it's just not worth it. So, yeah, some resins are more prone to it than others. But, um, yeah, <clears throat> loving this resin so far. Beautiful and glossy. Right, I'll set these up for a photo shoot and... Um, I'll be back to do some more waves real soon, see if I can master waves, hey? So come along for the ride anyway, we'll learn together. It's the only way to do it is to practice, 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 and watch more YouTube videos on people that know what they're doing. But um, yeah, I'll get there. I'm still new to resin. I'm still learning. I'll get there. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye for now.